Hello YouTube Forever Broken here coming at you with the Burning Abyss deck profile that I took to the 2014 Philadelphia Regionals November 28th 9th yeah 29th oh yeah it was the 29th um yeah so I'll run through that I'll uh, tell you guys how I did and my kind of my choices and my thought process and why this doesn't look to be a really great running of this deck. So yeah, all right. Boss monster BLS, double chaos sorcerer. Be and I, to be totally honest, I'm glad I played two because I didn't summon BLS once the entire tournament. I never saw him. I either milled him or the one time I did have him in hand, I did not have a light and a dark. So yeah, BLS, great monster, never saw him though. Obviously, three is Sirs, three Graf, triple Tour Guide, and triple Skarm. You, that's that's the Burning Abyss deck, like right there. Obviously, I am missing some things, but I will explain that later. <sighs> um, Triple Crane Crane. Crane Crane's good. Like, y y you can't search him, that's fine, but once you run out of tour guides, if you have to grind game, Crane Crane's pretty great. Crane Crane saved me a, a couple times during the tournament. Like, really did. Triple effect failure, I don't want to banish my Dantes. D d d and I made Giga Brilliant once. I, I did make Mech, Mech Equip Engineer, but not really, and Dante made him once and made Giga Brilliant once. But Dante was my main monster. So uh, banishing Effect Veiler is nice. And, uh, you know, Effect Veiler against certain decks is, is oh, all right, I'm going to side it out. That's fine, no big deal. So, yeah, Effect Veiler was, Effect Veiler was very useful. He, he was key. Um, Regeki, it's Regeki. It got me a couple wins. Obviously, I'm playing the rank up version, so you just just the one astral force, and it and it did come in handy a couple of times. It re it really helped out. Making um, Pleiades was was key a couple of times. It it forced my opponent to do shit. So, um, foolish. I sided it out every single time, cause. Not a single game one did I ever see Foolish Burial. And if I did see it, it was in the graveyard. <laughs> Book of Moon? It's my personal tech choice. It really is... It, it it's, it's really just a personal tech choice. That's, that's really all I can say. And I actually am wrong on this deck profile. Because I know my main deck was 41 cards. So... Let me double check, because this is, like I said, the deck I took to the regional. So this is IR. So I have this IRL. Where are the changes? There are the trap stuns. Bottomless. Wing blast. Mm hmm. There are two dimensional prisons. Meaning one of these cards is not in the main deck. Oh yeah, I don't play Torrential in here. There we go. All right, problem solved. So yeah. Um, anyways, like I said, Book of Moon's a personal check to tech choice that I put into, like, all of my decks, and it, it it's a good card, it's a solid card, it still comes in handy. I greatly enjoy using Book of Moon. Um, bottomless, the few matchups that it came in handy, it, 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 it did, it worked. Trap Stun was very nice. Um... Wing Blast did did get me a couple in, nice instances. 
It, it, it helped. Um, Deep Prison didn't. But I, I never cited it out because I was... It's, like, a thing with all of the traps, I I saw some of them, but a lot of them I milled. Like, Karma Cut, Wing Blast, like, pro- process there. I, I used it once, but milled it most of the other times. Breakthrough helped a lot. I, I saw Breakthrough a lot. I don't think I... I don't think I had Compulse at all. Once. I had Compulse once the entire time. Uh, Vanities, it, it's a key card and came in handy a lot. I, I totally wrecked a guy, wrecked a mirror match because of Dark Smog. He he did not know what to do. I, he, lo- he, like, lost a lot of things. And Solemn Morning, obviously. And, and, um, extra deck. Dante. Hmm? <laughs> MVP of the deck, really, to be totally honest. Dante was key. Um, Zen mains! <laughs> I'm glad I have Zen mains in here because I totally threw a guy for a loop. He he didn't know what to do about Zen mains in the mirror match. He, he didn't know how to deal with Zen mains, and he just kind of lost because of Zen mains. So, yeah. Um, this stalled me for a little while. It, it made it once. I never made Levier. Uh, honestly, uh, now after going through this entire tournament, I would probably take Levier out. I would also probably switch Alucard to one. Mm, excuse me. To one? Mm, excuse me. Burping. Jesus. Um, To one, because I, I only made him a handful of times, and a couple times I made him, he was bottomless. But then again, it was kind of nice that I had two, because I did have another one to go into later on. But yeah, Giga Brilliant was nice to get Dante up stronger. It really came in handy. Um, Grenosaurus, I only ever want to make if I have the option to go for if I have the rank up, and it never really came up. But I do like the uh, idea behind it. But I would probably rework this entire thing. Um, the Nightmare got me a win, got me a couple. Same with uh, Acid Golem. Downard was just there to kind of save. Dante a couple times. <laughs> My last game, I did go into Bram. Yeah, I did. And it was really kind of for the hell of it, though. Uh, vocal scores I never made, and obviously Pleiades was nice. Um, side deck. I expected to see... I expected to play Shadals and Clifforts, so Grandmole? Actually, Grandmole was in there for... Um, for Shadals, because I really thought I'd see more. And, um, guess what I didn't play all day? Shadals or Clifforts. Didn't play them at all. So, Grandma stayed there. Um, Maxi came in, like, almost every game. Um, he helped. Triple MST helped. This, this card, um, really kind of threw, the one time I saw it really threw my opponent for a loop, uh, and it was against Bujins, and so he didn't know, really know what to do. Uh, Spell Shattering Arrow was pretty useless other than my last match of the day, and that was against Fire Fists, and it never showed up. <laughs> Typhoon helped when I did side it in. Chain Disappearance devastated me at the mirror match, and Miss Polly again for Shadals, and <laughs> it never came in because I never played Shadals. So um, my matchups for the... I, uh, all right, so I went 4, 3, and 2. Um, round one was a mirror match that I, we ended up in a draw. Um, round two was a mirror match that I lost. Round three, I believe, let me think. I don't know, that was another mirror match. Round three was a mirror match. Round four was a no-show. Yeah, round three was a mirror match that I lost. Round four was a no-show. Um, round five was Sylvan's, and I lost that. I, I, I didn't know what to do against them. <laughs> I, I had no extra deck prepared for Sylvan's. The guy really threw me for a loop. That's, uh, that's really all I can say. Round six was um 
round six was why well, round six was the Bujin player, which I I beat. He 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 couldn't handle Chidals. Um, seven I believe was mirror match that I won. No, round seven was the mirror match. No, not a mirror match. Round seven was this the only Stellar Knight player that I played. Eight was a mirror match that I won, I believe. And round nine was uh, against the Fire Fist that I won. I think that math added up. I four wins. I know I beat the Fire Fist player. I know I beat the Bujin player. I, don't, I lost to the Sylvan player, so that's two wins and a loss. And then I had a no-show. And then I did beat one mirror match, I believe. Did I? No. I, I had three three mirror matches, and I lost all three of those. I tied one. No, four mirror matches, tied one. So I don't even remember. It was yesterday. When we got home, it was really late. I was really tired. I was exhausted after the entire day. So I just... I. I really just remember my uh my record. So and I mean in all in all technicality it was three three and two because, you know, I had a no show. But you know, it still counts. Four four three and two. And so obviously you guys are looking at this and saying what the actual fuck? You didn't actually play Burning Abyss. You don't have Virgil. You don't have Rubik. You don't have Fire Lake. And that is because I wasn't able to get any of that stuff. Um, I'm a budget player. I think I've mentioned that before. And uh, just get building this deck because of this guy was way over budget. A and he didn't help either. He's gone down since I... You know, got everything, but him and uh, him really, uh, really threw this deck off. Uh, luckily, I was able to get an Alucard through trade and pulled a uh, dual terminal Alucard, so yeah, that was luck. Um, but everything else, that, oh, um, between two Dantes, uh, Constellar Pleiades, and Vanities, yeah, that, that threw me way over budget. So, hence why I don't have a Virgil, hence why I don't have Rubik, and, or Fire League. And, to be totally honest, I tried. Before the tournament, I had my team all buy, all, um, I had them all register first, open their packs to see if they pulled any of it, and then I would register, and none of them pulled anything I needed. So that was unfortunate. <laughs> And no one actually had before I before we went in. No one had a fire lake for trade, so I I couldn't get a fire lake. It wasn't until after I went inside and you know went up to the vendors they had a fire lake for eight bucks, and I was like, "Fuck it, I've I need this card," so I got that. So I have a fire lake. But uh, if I someone had pulled a Virgil, even though I didn't have Rubik, I would have put um, Birdman in the deck I probably would have taken out Miss Polly and just put Dark Smog in the uh, side deck and I would have used Birdman so you know that tour guide play you know go for the Burning Abyss monster bounce the Burning Abyss monster then make Virgil since the monster tour guide summons can't be used as a synchro so that was the uh, thought process there and I also I don't know what I would have added or dropped for Fire Lake had I gotten Fire Lake before the tournament but, you know, probably would have been something similar. But, yeah, all in all, if I uh, am going to keep playing this deck, I will definitely... I, I have Fire Lake now. I am going to add the uh, other Burning Abyss guy that bounces a trap, at least one of him. Because I do, I do think he's pretty good since uh, Mirror Match kind of really screwed me with that guy. But, yeah, so um, I do want to work on the deck. I want to change it up. Because it's not perfect at all, but it's what I had with my budget, and I you know it. I didn't do terrible. I am upset. I had the two t the two draws were in time, and game three I think I could have won. So, yeah. But all in all, this is the deck. I know it's not great, but you know, I don't know what my next video will be, but I will uh, catch you guys later.